Welcome back to the channel. In this short video, uh, I'm going to be talking about what I call the four keys to moving any story forward. Um, this is a piece of a much bigger conversation uh, that I cover in rapid story my rapid story development books um, about how the middles of stories work. Uh, and I teach this as part of the, my, my mushy middle classes where we talk about how to structure the middle of any story. Um, the much bigger conversation is about what I call commercial pace and what creates narrative drive. Uh, so these four elements we're going to be talking about are a part of that much bigger conversation. So don't think that this is the beginning and end all of how you move a story forward. It's just four really essential pieces that I think all storytellers and writers need to know about. <clears throat> so uh, I decided to do a little video just on this because it's been coming up in conversations I'm having with clients and also in all my classes that I'm teaching. So uh, if you want to get a deeper appreciation for the overall topic, however, you can check out chapter 12 of Rapid Story Development, How to Use the Enneagram Story Connection to, come, to Become a Master Storyteller, or the Rapid Story Development ebook number one uh, on commercial pace. Both of those are available uh, on my uh, Amazon page. Uh, and they go into much more detail about this much bigger conversation. Um, but they'll, they're good resources if you decide you want to move forward and get, get, get more detail on this. Okay, so settle back and uh, take a listen, and I'll see you back here soon. We've all heard the phrase, move the story forward. That's what the middle is supposed to do. Move things forward. That's what every scene, story beat, or sequence of scenes is supposed to accomplish. Move things forward. The first quarter of your story, or the beginning, sets up the protagonist, sets up the world, sets up the parameters of the adventure as a whole, the core relationships are going to drive the middle of your story. The last quarter, or the ending of the story, ties up the subplots, resolves the big plot questions established by the first three quarters of the story, and resolves the internal, external needs of the protagonist, their, i.e. their emotional arc, <clears throat> gets them their goal met, etc., etc., right? The middle, or what I like to call the wasteland, <laughs> between the inciting incident and the all is lost moment, or what I call the doom moment, is where you move things forward and connect the beginning to the end. The middle of your story is your story. The middle is where all the action literally happens. The middle is literally where all your core character development happens. So if you aren't moving things forward in an effective way, guess what that means? It means your story is languishing in that what I call a mushy middle where maybe lots of things are happening and things are busy, busy, busy. But nothing is moving and building, creating tension, engaging the reader or the audience, if it's a movie or a TV show. That's a big problem. <laughs> because the middle is your story. Like the arrow of time, inexorably moving in the direction of the future, the story arrow must move inexorably into the story's future. But what does move the story forward really mean? I believe this is one of those story memes that all writers like to use, but don't think too much about because, you know, there's an innate understanding about what this means. You know, what's not to get? Move it forward. Next. <laughs> but I think there's more here than just some visceral understanding of this as an, as an idea or a concept. I think move the story forward means something very specific. In fact, I think it means several things. And if a writer can understand what those are, what those mean, he, he or she will be much more successful 
and trying to accomplish the tasks. If you're going to move the story forward, you must accomplish one or more of four specific things. Firstly, you must create an increased knowledge of the causal connection of events. The reader learns more and more about how the events unfolding are not random, but are in fact connected and that cause and effect relationship exists in that connection. This knowledge increases as the story moves forward in story time. <clears throat> in fact, it is this increased knowledge and causal relationship that pulls the reader forward by creating a sense of anticipation, mystery, or suspense. If you've been following my work with Anatomy of a Premise Line, then you know that, how I define it anyway, plot can be thought of as the, quote, what, unquote, of what happens in any story. This cause and effect relationship I'm talking about is the foundation of that what, of what happens on the page. In other words, it is, this cause and effect relationship is the foundation in some ways, at a very fundamental level, the foundation of plot itself. Secondly, you must create an increased understanding of the motivation or emotional and behavioral reasons for a character's actions. The reader learns more and more about why a character acts the way they do, thus deepening their appreciation and understanding about why a character's actions are happening at all. Their actions are no more random than the events that have to happen in the story, i.e., the character becomes clearer and clearer about character motivation. More than this, however, this understanding creates a deeper connection between character actions and actual events. So that the what of what is happening is also connected to the why characters act the way they do. This deeper understanding at the character level is the why of what happens in any story. Thirdly, you must create an increased awareness of stakes, jeopardy, and uncertainty. The reader becomes increasingly aware that things will be won or lost, and that danger is on the rise both emotionally and physically. In addition, character outcomes become less certain and the variables affecting future story outcomes as a whole increase. The ever-increasing risk and personal peril build on any suspense, anticipation, and mystery already established and thus give a feeling of forward motion and momentum. And building on this third key, Building on that comes the fourth key, which is the creation of progressive stakes. You know, number three is create an awareness that there are stakes. <laughs> the fourth key is actually building those stakes. As I've so often said, you know, this, this is worthy of a separate video all by itself, talking about stakes, how to create them, how to keep them going, what they are, what they aren't. But for our purposes, stakes can be thought of as the fourth key that moves the story forward. Stakes are defined as what will be won or lost based on conflict in a scene, sequence of scenes, a chapter, or across the story as a whole, for one or all characters. This is kind of simplistic, I understand, but how you achieve stakes dramatically is dependent on a variety of tools and techniques way beyond the scope of this little video. Regardless of your technical approach, however, stakes impact the movement of the story's middle based on four ideas related to the function of stakes themselves. Those four ideas are the promise of a win, the threat of a loss, risk, itself and consequences. Okay. 
These four ideas relate specifically to building stakes and must be progressive, meaning they rise in significance and importance as a story moves forward. Nothing flatlines a story faster than stakes that stay the same or grow dramatically stagnant. More and greater promise of winning, more and greater threat of losing, accompanied by ever-increasing risk associated with that win or loss, and ever-increasing consequences based on that progression are the elements you're shooting for. In other words, the story moves forward through story time. When characters have more to win or lose in any given situation, be it in a scene, sequence of scenes, or across the story as, as a whole, and the exposure to danger increases, and the results or effects of that exposure likewise increases. All four of these keys, increased knowledge of cause and effect, increased understanding of character motivation, increased awareness of stakes, and lastly, the actual creation of progressive stakes themselves, must all work together to build narrative pressure, contribute to story complications, and convey a sense of building momentum and forward motion across the entire story space. These four keys are what move any story forward. These are, in fact, the things that give any meaning to the concept of moving a story forward. They can each stand alone, or better yet, work in unison to push the story arrow into the future. But these are also the elements that contribute to narrative drive, the increasing of story stakes as a whole, and deeper identification and rapport between reader and characters. This is a, narrative drive is a much bigger conversation, along with how you maintain pace and what pace means. But these four keys that we're discussing are a part of narrative drive and so are essential to understand in the macro sense, but here in our micro sense. We're only talking about these four specific keys that relate to narrative drive. And when any one of these four keys is missing or muddled, narrative drive will be diminished and the reading or viewing experience will be dampened. Are these all you need to move the story forward? No, like I said, this is a much bigger and deeper conversation overall. But if you just understand these four keys and the nature of stakes, you will be light years ahead of all the writers out there who wing it and can only cross their fingers and toes, hoping they will pull off a solid middle. Sadly, 99.9% .9 of them will fail. Welcome to the 0.1% the who will actually have a chance to pull this off. Like I said, this is a much deeper conversation on some level. And if you want to get more into that conversation, you can check out my book, Rapid Story Development, How to Use the Enneagram Story Connection to Become a Master Storyteller, and the Rapid Story Development ebook number one on commercial pace. Those resources can be found on my Amazon author page. Just check the links below in the description section and you can go access those. And you can get a lot more information on all these pieces that we're discussing. But minimally, you now have the four keys to understanding how stories move in an inexorable direction forward in story time. So thank you for your kind attention, and I will see you in the channel.